All right. Welcome to the TensorField Generator webinar. So this is going to be more of an informative webinar that we're going to be doing today. Um, the TensorField Generator, it is this geometry. So to give background information on this geometry, this it is also known as the Genesa Crystal. Um, it was discovered in the 1940s by a plant geneticist, Dr. Langham, and he considered this to be the original eight cells, this geometry. Um, geometrically, it has the squares, the triangles. When you make this geometry out of any material at all, it, it moves energy. It brings energy in. Um, I believe it's in the squares and out the triangles or vice versa. I don't remember which way. We looked at that a long time ago. But basically it flows energy in and out when it's just built out of anything, out of paper, reeds, a single copper wire. Um, you know, people are using that geometry with plants, with spaces. Um, so the geometry in itself is pretty phenomenal. Uh, let's see. And good morning, everybody who's on chat here this morning. Um, thank you for joining us this early in the in the U.S. time zone. Um, so this particular generator, um, well, the, the tensor field generators versus the Genesa crystal. So when we have a tensor ring, of course, it's creating a column of light that just creates the column. It's like a flashlight goes out both ends um, for miles. When you put these rings into this geometric form, instead of being like the, um, oops, pardon me, I gotta silence my phone. Be, unlike the regular Genesa crystal made out of any material besides a tensor field or a tensor ring, those ones have an energy flow in and out. When you put it in a tensor field generator with tensor rings into this geometry, it is then creating more of a sunshine effect, though it is also bringing energy in. And it's not like it's bringing energy in a certain square and out a triangle. It's constantly in motion. So this is constantly in motion, flowing energy both in and out of this sphere. Now, we've through the years, when we first started making the tensor field generators. Um, it was actually a gentleman that I went to to study with who was making the Slim Sperling harmonizers. And that was in, I believe, 2010, late 2010, early 2011. And this gentleman who I went to see, he taught me how to make the Genesa crystal. Even though he was making tensor rings, he had never put them together in a Genesa crystal before for some reason. So as soon as I got home, I made the first tensor field generator. And I called it a tensor field generator because simply that it is generating that tensor field out in a sunshine effect. So the very first tensor field generators were made from the 144 megahertz because that's what we were working with at the time was the Sperling qubit and also the 177. And then as time went and we found new qubits. We were making generators out of different frequencies of qubits and they all did a little bit different um, things through the time. Once we got to the harmony rings, now the harmony rings have a, a fairly fairly w wide sphere of influence and actually the widest sphere, sphere of influence and that's what I mean by sphere of influence is how far out this goes in all directions to create that that radius of how big this sphere is. So the 144 megahertz would create a really large sphere of influence. But at the time when we were making those, like I sent some of those to Washington, D.C., they got put right next to the Capitol building and those particular ones, they would fizzle out in any kind of a, a denser energy, the 144s would. And then the harmony generators, when we came with the balance and harmony rings and we were creating the harmony generators, um, which I have one of those right here, the smaller version. So this smaller version, 
and that's a beautiful thing about this geometry is it can collapse um, this smaller version is uh, has a sphere of influence of about five and a half to six miles across now the sphere of influence of this guy has has changed I mean it used to be smaller I think it was around three miles and just as everything's been raised in frequency and vibration on the planet these things expand more but the harmony generator is another one of those that you take into a really dense energetic area and that sphere of influence of this guy of being that five and a half six miles it shrinks um, it's not able to process the energetic it goes out what I mean by processing the energetics is again where these guys are bringing energy both in and sending it out at the same time they are transmuting they are raising the frequency and vibration um, and they're doing everything else that each specific ring frequency of ring is doing within this sphere so actually within the sphere is where it's kind of the epicenter of everything um, so the harmony generators for this size um, with that five and a half mile sphere of influence we also have like this seven and a half inch harmony generator about that big and that one has a sphere of influence of 12 miles across now that's the one that we're using um, for agriculture industry and also the harmony generators are really well be for um, radionics for us to broadcast with not only with radionics and frequencies but also intentions because as we'll talk about the golden fire generators later these don't hold our human based intentions um, these ones act differently the harmony generators though for people who want to place their intentions inside of this sphere you can write it on a piece of paper you can put it into a crystal and put that crystal inside of here or you can simply as the elders three say a touch a voice and an intention so you just hold the generator you speak your intention into it and because of the geometry it will hold that intention and amplify it and broadcast it all the time so some of the fun things that we've done with these throughout the years is like let's say if we're going to use this guy with water we're going to put our intention into there of what we would like to do with the water so with this three and a half inch harmony generator I put in the intentions of bringing through all the healing properties of bergamot into my water collapse it again I have a prop sits here for years we would slip the generator over the water and then it is broadcasting the frequencies into the water uh, the, the intentions into the water as well as doing everything else that a standard tensor ring would do with your water so phenomenal way to put your intentions into water is with these harmony generators the larger harmony generators the seven and a half inch ones that have that larger sphere of influence those are being used a lot in the agriculture industries um, you know there's there's guys who will get those and they'll put it right at the pivots of their of their irrigation um, so basically it is working not only with the water um, that is flowing through up through the well through the pipes that is also put out in sprinkler form but they're able to put in the intentions of working with the consciousness of the plants of the pests of the land of uh, the divas of the land so basically with that larger harmony generator well actually it was a 333 megahertz generator that we created that we did some uh work with a with a really wonderful group of people who were doing agriculture testing to uh, move pests out of a field so we co-created this device using a 333 generator to which they would not only broadcast to it radionically but also when we created the generator we put the intentions in there of working with this certain pest it was a beetle to where we would put generators within the field that would ask them working on a conscious level to leave the field then we put other generators outside in the wooded areas to draw them and so we were doing a push-pull effect and really phenomenal results with that I mean the beetles would just leave the field and they would have someplace else to go 
So intentions and generators, the harmony is great for gardens, for agriculture, things like that. It is working with the consciousness of the plants, the consciousness of the earth elementals um, and of the earth. So harmony generators, fantastic. These guys are collapsible. They fit most male hands. Great bracelets. One of the other bracelet generators that we have is the 222. I love this one. It's small. I wish I could fit it over my wrist. If you are interested in the bracelet generators, if you go to the twistedsage.com bracelet generators, on that webpage, they'll sh there's a little test of like how to cut a strip of paper a certain length and find out what size of generator can fit your wrist. So basically you take that strip of paper, that's this measurement, you put it together with tape and see if you can get your wrist through it. Um, phenomenal generator, this little 222. This guy does not have a huge sphere of influence. It is more your personal field, you know, about, about the size of a room is how far the sphere of influence of the 222 goes. Um, still a phenomenal, um, little generator feels great then we move to one of my favorites the golden fire generators now the golden fire is a very unique generator um, in that with the harmony generators the larger they go to an extent they have a larger sphere of influence the golden fire does not follow any of the old rules basically the golden fire generators, no matter the size, whether it's an eight inch or a 26 inch, um, 29 inch, the four and a half inch, the two inch or the one inch, all have the same sphere of influence. It used to be that these guys, the golden fire would go out about a half a mile and that was a solid bubble. Unlike the Harmony, that would just, it would slowly taper off as it goes out. The Golden Fire creates a solid bubble. And as it does, nothing slows it down. Um, you can put this in a really energetic, dense area, and it just, it, it, it just keeps moving. It, nothing stops it. Um, let's see. Oh, we're going to go back. Sorry, a comment here from, from Christopher McCaffrey. So he got the 222 generator. He tried the paper test. The piece of paper ripped on him, but he was still able to squeeze his hand through the generators. Generators are strong. These guys are um, inter I'm physically, they're a really strong um, tool. You don't have to worry about breaking it. So you can <laughs> squeeze your hand through them. The ones that you do have to worry about breaking on the physical level are the golden fire generators. These particular ones here, um, the four and a half inch golden fire generator, when you collapse them, they get so out of round. And we have a video on YouTube on how to round the generators. Also, when you buy a collapsible one, there comes with a little instruction sheet on how to reround them. The golden fire generators, I do not suggest collapsing them unless they're a bracelet. You can leave them collapsed. The golden fire, if you just get a golden fire generator, well, we have people that spend a lot of time on these guys, making them nice and perfect. They're like five bucks more than these, but really this is more than five bucks worth of work to round these guys and make them look beautiful. Um, so if you get a golden fire generator, don't collapse it or else it's going to look all out of round and funky, which will take us to uh, another topic here. I know we're kind of jumping around on topic here, but we'll, we'll circle back around to the golden fire again. Um, with the gener with the golden fire generator, when you do collapse it and becomes out of round you, these are the ones that you just have to be careful. If you're going to bend it back, don't bend it on the welds. I know I mentioned that the generators are pretty strong physically, but right on the weld point, you can actually break them. Now, again, with all of our tools, we have a lifetime warranty on the welds. So if you ever do break one, don't worry about it. Send it back to us. We'll repair it or replace it for you for free. You just pay postage. Um, so the golden fire generators, again, no matter the size, they all have the same sphere of influence. 
as I said before, they would go out about a half mile out in all directions. Um, that was when we first came out with the Golden Fire here about two years ago, I believe. Now then, as the frequencies of the planet has raised, these guys are going out now three quarters of a mile, actually more than three quarters of a mile in all directions. And that field is not stopped by walls, not stopped by the earth. You can put this in a Faraday cage. Nothing stops the quantum field of a tensor field. So this golden fire generator, basically you set it someplace, forget it, it does its thing. Um, again, about putting intentions. When you place intentions into the harmony generator, it will hold those, broadcast those, and amplify those. The golden fire, not so much. So the golden fire generators are basically one that is in such a higher place that our human-based intentions that we put into here are not high enough. Um, we can put our intentions into here, but if they're not in alignment with source soul creation and that higher good from that higher perspective, it'll just collapse that. Um, you can put intentions into here, into here all day, but it is the soul based, all the higher stuff that is that the intentions are being amplified. So you don't even have to actually put intentions into the golden fire because it is working with that higher soul self of not only you that's holding it and that's in possession of it, but also everybody else that is in that three quarters of a mile or one and a half mile sphere of influence. So that kind of brings up a question too about um, these tools where they're creating a larger field. So when these are creating a field it's not interfering with the life path of anybody it is working with the highest and best good because it is working with the higher soul self of everybody who is within this field so we have a lot of people who have purchased the generators over the years to work with their neighborhoods because this is that environmental tool that we use for neighborhoods for your whole environment the golden fire generator is the one that is working with, um, you know, all electromagnetics as is the harmony. The harmony and the golden fire are both working with dense consciousness. Um, they're working, you know, with the higher soul self, but the harmony is a bit limited in what the golden fire does. The golden fire is also working with, um, disincarnate beings, ghosts, waywards, uh, lower level entities, things like that. And so the golden fire is bringing in that golden fire field, that of the sacred heart, and is bringing that remembrance to everybody within that mile and a half plus sphere of influence. So as it is working and holding that space, anybody that is within that field, it is working with the higher soul self. So the golden fire generator is the one that when you take this into a neighborhood, doesn't matter the size, one inch, four inch, eight inch, doesn't matter. When you bring that into a neighborhood, it is bringing that remembrance to every soul within the neighborhood. It is doing that cleaning and clearing work of, of the energetic attachments of ghosts, waywards, entities, lower level entities. Um, it is, you know, and working with all the electromagnetic smog. Because they're, if you get cell phone service, you're within, you know, electromagnetic smog. If you have household electric, you, you're, you're in the smog. You know, and obviously it's denser in the cities. But the 5G was one of the big things that came along that somebody had the golden fire generator in their home and it was not taking care of the 5G. So again, where our tools are created on that higher dimensional plane first, then brought into the physical. Uh, my sister Brenda and I, we tweaked the, the energetic aspect of the golden fire tools to where they would transform the 5G millimeter wave and change it into something that was more beneficial to us. So golden fire generators will clear the 5G millimeter wave as well as any of the electromagnetic smog that's out there. So you take this downtown Chicago and you sit it there, it's doing great things. It's going to do the work for everybody who is unaware of any of the cell phone stuff. 
But as we see time and time again, if one person within this field goes into fear about a cell phone tower, um, you know, whatever frequency emitting um, device that's out there, usually communication device, when they go into fear over that, they override the generator's field that has cleared that to be something helpful and beneficial. We see it a lot because so many people are going into fear with the 5G stuff. Um, man, I did a study downtown Chicago. Sorry, getting off topic again, but I'm going to put out a video um, or write something up about is basically going to be the 5G scare because it is, it is such a huge fear distraction. Um, it's not widespread. Yeah, 5G millimeter waves are terrible stuff. You know, none of the tools that are out there that I'm aware of besides the Golden Fire Generator and the Golden Fire tools are truly clearing that 5G millimeter wave. But we can also do it with consciousness because that's, you know, that's where our tools begins with consciousness. Um, so let's see, we were on the Golden Fire Generator. We've covered everything on the generators that we currently sell except for let's see we have the silver golden fire generator um same sphere of influence as your regular golden fire generators um same energetics used to be that silver was unable to hold the tensor field again a few years ago we did the work with the silver with the consciousness of silver now the physical structure of silver will hold the tensor field and these guys are broadcast just the same. Um, the golden fire generator, the four inch one is our most popular because this one is so much more affordable than the little guy. Time energy materials is how we charge at Twisted Sage Studios for the creation of this hundred and some dollar one versus the $65 one. So this one has just been um, more widely used because it's more economical. My favorite of the Golden Fire is the two inch. This is the one that it's it's heavier duty. Again, this guy is like a hundred bucks versus 65 bucks. But the two inch is one that you would put into um, a bag, a school bag, a backpack, like my daughter, she has, um, you know, she uses this in her backpack all the time, the two inch. Um, then before we go on to the regeneration generator, I'm going to ask answer a couple questions here. Um, do gener generators work like starburst, but much more gentle than starburst? So the starbursts are are more working for. To me, they're something that works stronger for your geopathic, um, for more of your earth based stuff, your naturally occurring earth energies is what I like the Starburst more for. The Golden Fire Generator will still take care of a lot of the geopathic stresses um, and a lot of the, and, and definitely the Golden Fire's clearing um, the energy that's coming in, anything non-beneficial that's coming in on geomagnetic lines, it is clearing that. So the generator is a lot like the Starburst and like you say, yep, more a little bit more gentle. Uh, another question, which one's more powerful, wands or generators? If we use a golden fire generator with a harmony generator, does it have the same influence of the golden fire and the light wand? So working with um, the wands, the wands for the environmental stuff, to me, are more powerful than working with the generators for the simple fact that we are using our own consciousness work. We're using our light. We're using our higher intent when we're working with the wands. To me, that is one of the most powerful things on this planet and the most powerful thing that we can do is to be connected and to use consciousness. Consciousness is the key. So to me, that is much more powerful. The generators are phenomenal for those who don't wanna do the work, who just want this to sit in their office, to clear everything. Um, so the generators are, you know, they're, they're kind of apples and oranges on the comparison. Um, 
Let's see, another question. Is the Harmony generator appropriate for remediating mold in a home? Would more generators need to be laced outside the home as well? Okay, so for working with mold remediation, basically we would be not only working to raise the frequency and vibration of the, of the entire environment, so we're working with that frequency and vibration because mold mildew, those things are usually in a denser vibration. So we're working with raising vibrations, but we're also working with the consciousness of them. Um, to me, the golden fire generator would be, would be a beneficial one for working with the remediation of mold in a home. Though the person's asking if a harmony generator would be. Um, yes, and you could still use the harmony generator and be working with the consciousness, putting your intentions into here everything else. Now, when you're placing your harmony generator and you are using your intentions right here, when you're using the golden fire generator, you're still using your intentions and it's a soft intention. And soft intentions sometimes are more powerful than our hard intentions of us having to see how it is and how it, it needs to be. You know, when people make intentions and try to manifest and create, they're like, okay, I got to be very specific and everything else. You're getting so much into the brain with uh, with the harmony, with the golden fire. When you get the golden fire and you have the intention already, that soft intention to remediate the mold within the home, you're already placing that intention just by bringing the generator in and placing it. So golden fire generators, soft intentions are a phenomenal way to go. Um, Let's see, but would you need more generators laced outside the home as well if you were gonna be working with something like a mold? No, you know, really you only need one generator that covers that area. You can put other generators if you're wanting to have a larger sphere of influence that are overlapping, you know, the, 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 the spheres. So that way you're just creating a larger, larger field if you're wanting to expand out farther. But if you're bringing in generators into the home, they're they're going to raise the power and potency of the field only slightly. It's not going to be, you know, I'd say economically feasible to buy 10 generators because I think you could still do the same work as if you just had the one. Um, let's see some other questions here. With the golden fire generators, how is the field affected by military tech? Um, so really these generators, now there is, um, really wonderful book out there called the new science of rain by our good friend, Dwin Gardner. Some know him as Organite Austin. So Dwin wrote a book, the new science of rain that he experimented with, I don't remember which generator it was. It might've been the harmony. Or, or the sacred cubit, I don't remember. But he made generators and he used them as broadcasters and they were able to, he was able to show how it changed weather patterns. That's something with the Genesa crystal that people have always used the Genesa crystal. Um, the guy who taught me how to make this structure, the collapsible one, which he is now since deceased, but this collapsible Genesa crystal structure he was making them out of just a copper tube or a single copper wire. And he swore by how he could change weather patterns. He was down in Kansas and he swore that he had watched the weather patterns and watched them change. These are amplifiers of our intentions. I know I'd seen a 12 year old girl move clouds before. Um, we've heard of those stories of where we can affect weather, we can affect our environment through conscious intent. These guys are amplifying that. So a lot of people are using the different generators um, for affecting things like chemtrails, all that stuff. Because that is one of the things that a lot of people have used these generators for is the whole chemtrail phenomena. It is clearing those realities, those man-made created realities. With the golden fire generators, how is it affected by military tech? Nothing can touch the golden fire. Um, these things, the, they're, they're, they're untouchable. Um, so basically radionics. So if you have like, 
let's say you find a school that is being broadcast to radionically um, golden fire generators. They will clear it. Um, that's why I send the two inch golden fire generator in my daughter's backpack. Because not only is it working with you know the, the frequencies of the fluorescent light bulbs, all the weird frequencies that they put into all of the school supplies, the books, the everything, but then also anything else that is being broadcast to the schools. But the biggest thing for the golden fire generators in the schools, especially this little one that fits in a backpack that doesn't get crushed as easy, is the not only the thought forms, the dense consciousness of other kids, but the ghost waywards. That is a huge deal that the golden fire is doing is that the golden fire is clearing, um, crossing over ghost waywards. For years, I was trying to make a tool. I made like a, a dragon ball. It was a Gaia sphere and it had these beans in it who would basically hold, um, they would draw in and hold ghost waywards, ghosts for a time until I could come in, open the light, cross them over. Um, so for years, I was always trying to create tools that would cross over ghosts. Well, the golden fire does that. So the golden fire is bringing that field out again. It's bringing that remembrance of the sacred heart to all beings within the sphere of influence, including beings that are not incarnate in the physical. And so for a ghost wayward, it brings their soul in because it's the soul that comes in and activates the golden fire, the sacred heart. And so as it brings the soul in, the soul just takes them across. So that's another reason that I send one of these with my daughter to school because she is so flipping sensitive to that as well as people's thought forms. So military tech, no, nope, can't touch it. Um, let's see, another question here. Can you speak more to the work automatically done by the 222 generator? How much does it clear without consciousness work of implants, entities, cords, attachments, thought forms, non-beneficial connections? So the 222 generators are part of the 888 series. Now the 888 rings are more of just a clear grounding connecting. So these guys don't have all the crazy, um, you know, all the different frequencies and properties of all the plant crystal mineral kingdoms, the rays of light. They don't have, um, you know, all of those energetic um, templates that we create, it doesn't have all of those put into the 888 series. So these guys are just clean, clear, connecting, grounding. But yes, they can still, they are still a tensor field and a tensor field will still restructure electromagnetics. Um, it can still do a lot of phenomenal things just because of the field and the light it brings. But the 222s are not going to innately do all the things that you're looking at here for doing all the, the clearing work and everything, unless it is you that is working with it. So the 222 generator, you can simply program it. You can, you know, because if you know how to cross over a, a ghost, a wayward, or if you know how to work with um, clearing cords and energy attachments, you can just put those intentions into here and this will carry and, and amplify that higher aspect out into the field to help do the clearing work that you already know how to do. The golden fire is phenomenal for people who don't know how to do any of the energy work, any of the consciousness work. You get the golden fire, it just does it. Um, let's see. Oh, we were on questions. I'm going to go back to chat here just to see on chat and talk to anybody. Well, cool. We got people from India and South Africa, Texas, um, South Los Angeles. Let's see. And Tasha in South Los Angeles. My house has been protected all this time with one of the Janisas. Well, yeah, these these tensor field generators, I tell you, we get reports all the time. You can check out our um, our um, testimonials page, and um, it's pretty amazing how it changes neighborhoods with these things. Um, 
So another question. I have the regeneration rings and the shaman's wand. Um, so we so somebody's asking about working with intention for manifesting and healing with the shaman's wand and the regeneration rings. You know, um, and we do have the the webinar on the regeneration. So um, I do ask that you check that out. Now you cannot take a tensor ring, a single ring and put intentions into it and have that ring amplify them just for the simple fact that it is the geometry within this tensor field generator the genesis crystal geometry that is what is holding and amplifying those intentions so if you're working with the tensor ring and you want to amplify and hold intentions you take a crystal you know i usually have a crystal laying here you hold the crystal you go into the heart space, you speak into the crystal, your intentions, you ask that the crystal holds your intentions, you place that inside of the ring, and that ring will broadcast it out. Same with any crystals that you use, you can place that inside of a generator, and it will broadcast that, because these are made to be broadcasters. Especially the harmony generators are great for broadcasting intentions again. So if you voice your intentions into a crystal, and you set it inside the generator, it will hold and broadcast those intentions. But crystals love the tensor field generators because they are then able to work on these fields, the tensor fields. They're, they're, the tensor fields are acting as a carrier wave for the consciousness of the crystal. So it can broadcast its own intentions, its own frequencies and properties out onto the field of the tensor field generator. So using the tensor field generator in crystals is a phenomenal thing to do. A lot of people get the little one inch uh, generators, golden fire. Again, the golden fire generator is not going to hold and amplify those intentions, but you can put that in a crystal, drop that in your little generator, and you can wear it. Um, and it will still be broadcasting your intentions through the crystal. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked a question. I hear you correctly that if we fear 5G, golden fire generators won't work. Many of us at this moment are in fear, sometimes even collective fear. Okay, so will your golden fire generator still work if you're in fear of the 5G? Very good question. That's going to be very person specific. But in general, <laughs> I hesitate to say no because um, it again it is a very person specific thing. Our intentions we're such powerful beings that our intentions can override a lot of things. We can create things that are not real that affect us. That's kind of like what eighty percent of what affects us in this world is things. That's just how the human is wired. Is that we. The human seems to make shit up, believe it to be true, and then it becomes a reality for us. So, yes, if you are in fear of the 5G, you got to go into the heart space. Once you're in the heart space, everything shifts and changes. If you have fear, you are here. You are being affected by everything out here. You're being affected by what's coming in whether it is even even words i have recently had the epiphany that if you're reading words and even if the words are like nothing negative that the words are not themselves carrying something that is non-beneficial it can be the energy behind the words that are carrying something and so we are getting my point is is that we are getting bombarded all the time especially if you live in the cities especially if you watch the news anything like that. We're just opening ourselves up and being bombarded by all that stuff all the time. So really, if we can stand grounded, connected in the heart, nothing can touch us. The golden fire generators are simply one, they're going to help us get into the heart space. They're going to hold the field for us to be able to stand as that being of light that we are. These are training wheels. We don't want to stop at just placing the golden fire generator in your home and then just calling it good. We want you to stand in your power, in your light, and then you become the generator. 
your light is much more powerful than these tools and these tools are pretty flipping powerful um so yeah i wish i had a better answer for you on the whole 5g deal about if you go into fear and you still have these tools i would say yes you're still affected by them because it seems to be that i've had three clients in the past you know few months that that has been the whole thing is that they have the tools but yet they're still having all these symptoms and it's not just a 5g it's just of cell phone towers and things in general and they fall into fear um and, and then and then yes it, it does affect them uh, so somebody's asking can I talk more about the sacred heart fire so the golden fire is named that the golden fire because that is the trifold gold flame heart of the sacred heart so the sacred heart is is one of the more powerful things because it is also our light um so we'll if if um so to save the rest of you guys about just going off about the sacred heart for a while please do check out uh one of our websites which is called reclamationearth.com and i'll type it right here um so reclamationearth.com is a phenomenal website that i put up that's free and there's videos on there that walk you through the activation of the sacred heart um again golden fire tools will bring that remembrance to everybody within its field and that remembrance is of the sacred heart that we all carry innately the sacred heart it's just remained unactive until recently now it's starting to spread like wildfire because as you have a sacred heart lit it affects everybody around you it brings in the remembrance to them to their soul about the sacred heart as well so um the golden fire is pretty pretty phenomenal not only the golden fire that we carry within the heart but also the golden fire tools um let's see if you hang this tool from the ceiling what to use for the cord is metal okay oh yes if you are using anything to hang the tensor field generators the tensor rings it does not matter the material that you use like our lanyards we just simply use a leather lanyard you can use metal um anything because um you know no matter what material you use that's not going to be put into the generator and broadcast out because whatever you put inside of a generator to broadcast it is only what is in the highest and best good so um you, you know it'll always transmute uh let's see and hello from ireland awesome so yeah we got people everywhere here today and let's go back looks like we have some more questions here um if we have a golden fire generator that lives in our household what is redundant is it redundant to have other items like wi-fi rings so one of the things about we have the energetic transformation package which that one does have the golden fire generator and it also has the wi-fi ring in it so basically the golden fire generator you can look at it as clearing everything that is free floating through the air in your environment so if your wi-fi box is on the other side of the room and your golden fire generator can be anywhere it can be downstairs it can be out in your car it can be alone to your neighbors whatever as long as you're within that sphere of influence the golden fire generator it's going to be taking care of the wi-fi signal that's across the room now if your Wi-Fi is sitting right here next to your bed stand and you're right here immediately within the field of your Wi-Fi transmitter then yeah I would say put a Wi-Fi ring on your Wi-Fi um, because then the generator just does not have a chance to clear everything that is right here in that immediate field and that is the same with um, the, the the discs the golden fire discs which I put one on my phone, but um, the discs that we make for your household electric, your fuse panel has that five and a half to six feet out um, field that's non beneficial to be within. So the golden fire, if you're out here, you know, and you're beyond that six foot field, 
you're fine. You're not going to be affected by any of the electromagnetics in the home because the whole home is creating an electromagnetic field. This will clear everything in the air. But if you are sleeping right next to your fuse panel at night and you're spending that time within that five and a half to six feet of your fuse panel, then yes, you'll want something on the fuse panel itself to remediate it. Um, same as like working with the Wi-Fi. Um, so let's see. We have one more generator left. The regeneration. Um, wish I knew what to say about this guy. This guy, when I see it, it is such a bright light that I don't even see the generator. Basically, the regeneration generator, it's not doing, well, in a way, it is doing a lot of what the golden fire does in that it is raising everything up in frequency and vibration, but it's not doing all of that wild clearing stuff, all the activation stuff, everything like that. This is basically... Here's the golden fire field. The regeneration field is like way up here. So it's kind of like how I talk to people about um, the different tools that we have, like anything that's golden fire, it's gonna be you know doing all the clearing work, the working with us here on this level. And the regeneration is up here on this level. So it's taking us out of this space basically. Um, yeah. Still not doing a very good job of describing the regeneration regeneration generator. Um, it's just a really higher ball of light that everybody within its field, it is taking them higher. I mean, it's raising the frequency and vibration of everything within the home. Um, I forget what the sphere of influence of these are. To me, it looks like it is about the size of a home, of a, of a large home, is what I'm seeing in the field of this right now. And we and you can double check on the website. It'll tell you what um, Brent and I both found with it. But that's how big I'm seeing the field right now. Um, let's see. Any question? Is it beneficial to wear the Wi-Fi ring on a chain like a pendant? Oh, yeah, totally. In, anytime you wear a, a tensor ring, and you're wearing it over the heart, that's the best place to wear it. So if you have one of the small one inch golden fire generators, they work great right up next to the heart. I mean, they're, they're a good one to wear as a pendant. Still a little bit big and bulky, but they're less than one inch. So it just depends on how you feel about wearing those. Um, my panel is in my food pantry against the back side of the refrigerator and a freezer. How does this affect my food items? So if you have a fuse panel that is, and you have anything that's within that five and a half to six feet, like your food, your refrigerator, your freezer, totally get a disc to put onto your fuse panel because then your fuse panel is going to be producing a beneficial field that should um, energize your food, make food last longer. That's just what the tensor fields do. So if you put a disc onto your fuse panel, then it's going to be broadcasting that beneficial field. Because uh, electromagnetics in general are phenomenal. Uh, our world is electromagnetic. We are an electromagnetic being. Um, does every size of regeneration generator have the same field of influence? Well, we actually only have one size regeneration generator. And I can't tell you right offhand. I was trying to see if they do have a larger field of influence. And I really can't say for certain. Um, we, I was trying to think if I even had, if I've even made a larger regeneration field. Yes, actually, I've made a regeneration generator that's about a four inch one. Um, yeah, I can't say if they do have a larger field of influence or not. Um, one of the things, too, about the generators is that the field of influence that I've been speaking of is their innate field field what they do when you just sit them and they're on their own but with your intentions because as we interact with these tools 
we can expand that field to go farther. Um, very simple. It's just uh, it's just being in the heart space, those intentions, connecting into that field. Because when you're in your heart space and you do in your visualization, you can just visualize that field expanding. That's how we do the consciousness work. Heart space, visualization. Um, because when we visualize from up here, we're just turning our hamster wheels again. Moving into the sacred space of the heart is where we witness create all the magic and miracles. Because that is where we are not influenced. Sacred space of the heart. So again, if you're new to the sacred space of the heart and that whole concept, do check out reclamationearth.com because that's where we start. And that's where we do any of our consciousness work is we begin from within that sacred space of the heart. Um, question, does it matter what percentage of copper the wire for the tools is? Does the gauge make a difference in making the tools? So if you're making the tools, um, yeah, no, you can use, you can use um, just about any copper is going to have is going to be that higher percentage of copper i mean even any of the copper alloys are still over 90 percent copper we use the you know the highest copper content that we find that's just a standard in the electrical industry which are all still around 99 99 point some percent copper um so making the tools Man, I tell you, I have such mixed feelings on making the tools because, yes, Slim encouraged me to put out the video years ago on making the tools. We have a website dedicated to sharing the sacred measurements. It's just that so many people are making the tools anymore that some of them, you know, it's a learning process. You, you just have to be cautious with the tools when you're making them because the first ones that I made, some of them were non-beneficial even. And so it's all about being in the sacred space of the heart, being clean and clear. If you're making the tools, the physical aspect is a small percentage of what you're doing. So if you're making the tools, the bigger picture is you need to be clean and clear. There's a lot of people that say, hey, can you help me out with this entity that I've had? And they've been making tools for three years and they're like, man, this entity has been with me the whole time and he's there, you know, all the time. And it's like, oh, man, you're twisting wire and you are, you know, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get off that little soapbox of, of just making sure that you're clean and clear when you're making the tools. Um, and then the physical aspect of making the tools really is, is not that much. It's all the energetics. That's where the true power and potency of the tensor tools comes is in that higher aspect of their creation. Um, somebody asked, so essentially we're only limited by imagination. Yes, when we're doing the energy work, um, we really are only limited by our imagination because when we're in the heart space and the work that we do, it is in alignment with source soul creation. So that's about being in the heart space is because when we're in the heart space, we are we are in alignment. That is where our soul resides. That's where when we do any of the work, we know that it is done in the highest and best good. Um, so let's see. We are almost through our whole hour here. And I was trying to remember if there's anything on the tensor field generators that we have not covered. Um, I think think we have covered everything on the tensor field generators so i hope that uh i hope that amidst all of this you guys found some good information um, on the generators and again the generators that we cover today are just the ones that we currently create here at twisted sage studios um you know the the generators have just really changed over time as the the different frequencies have came through so, um, yeah, and I guess there are no more questions popping up. So, you guys, thank you for being here, and thank you all who tuned in from all your different time zones, and we'll see you next time. 
We're going to be doing our next uh, webinar on the tensor field coils coming up here in about a week. All right. Take care, you guys. Have fun.